what is going on guys welcome back to the behind the lens a youtube channel we'll talk about photography videography and anything content creation related if you're anything like me and you're struggling to get your first clients i do know exactly what it feels like and in this video i am going to be sharing some chips and crepes chips and crepes chips and <laughs> in this video i'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks and all of the things that i did that helped me land my first client as a photographer for all those who don't know who i am my name is phil i'm a freelance photographer and videographer out here in toronto canada just a little bit of a background story a couple of months ago i was still struggling to get clients to get photography big gigs i just wanted to make this content for anyone out there who's just starting out about the certain things that i did that really really improved the quality of my clients drastically turning those leads into clients at the end of the day so the very first thing that you need is you need to build a portfolio and if you're wondering like phil i don't get clients where do i get my portfolio from here's what i did that worked for me i don't know if it's gonna work for you but i suggest that you try it out you need to start by taking photos of your friends and families i took a whole lot of photos of my friends and family when i started out at first i'm gonna show you a couple of them on the screen here they weren't the best photos but that way i was getting better and better and better so if you're someone who's into pet photography or you like taking photos of real estate i'll suggest that you just ask your friends and family ask them very nicely if you can take photos of them and absolutely people are always willing and ready to help and support your dream especially if you have quality people around you so first thing i do again is i'll take photos of my friends and family to build up my portfolio okay so after you've taken photos of your friend and family now people need to see your work you have to start marketing what your portfolio looks like and you have to start showing people your work the person that gets the most clients is not necessarily the best photographer it's the photographer that people know right so you need to put yourself out there and how do you do this you go to your friends and family again and you let them know that hey i'm offering these things professionally now these are my services this is what my portfolio looks like and you'd be surprised and even if they're not interested in your photography at that time they might note someone who's getting a bridal shower or a baby shower and then they can start referring you to them and i really really cannot overemphasize how important it is that you let people know about your work that way they can refer you and when they finally do refer you please i'm begging you do not be an asshole do not be a douchebag what you want to do is you want to be very nice when you're talking to people when you're working with those clients you want to be very very professional and word of mouth really really goes far because one thing you need to remember is people always forget all of the things that you said to them but they'll never forget how you made them feel sensational So what you want to do is you can go on Google and search for photographers around me and then you shoot them an email. I suggest you reach out to like 20 photographers and say, hey guys, I'm just a new person who's trying to learn photography. I'm a huge fan of your work. I'm going to ask you politely if it's okay for me to shadow you during your next project. Shadowing means you're just standing behind them and what you want to do, you're helping them carry the lights and things like that. You want to be a servant leader. Like you go out there, you work hard and then they see that you're a very hardworking person who really, really loves to work and you have a passion for photography that to me is the ultimate superpower that's the juice when people start recognizing the passion that you have and the quality that you bring to the team they start working with you as well and that is a very very great way for you to start getting your clients and one of the things that happened with me was a photographer friend of mine then i um, had a gig at three gigs at the same time but because i'd worked with him well enough and he knew me well enough as well to know that he can trust me with his client he gave one of those gigs to me and from there i just started spiraling 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 upwards it's been a very very beautiful experience so far the final tip i can give that i know helped me was you have to be persistent and you have to be willing to learn whatever it is you're learning today you can actually get better you can get better and do not underestimate the power of learning something new every day even if it's something like just taking a photo of your phone every single day for 30 days you become better one of my favorite quotes that i've learned i learned this from my mentor a long time ago and the quote says you can't make a race horse out of a pig but you can make a really fast pig so if you have that in mind that okay I may not be Steve McCurry or Peter McKinnon in the next 20, 25 days, 30 days, 3 years, 5 years. But I can get way better than where I am right now. It's very important as well that you stay persistent and consistent. You have a habit and you build upon that habit and that's what makes you a better photographer as a whole and you can get more clients. And just a bonus tip for you guys. It's very, very important how you edit your photos as well. So what you can do is you can go online right now and look for photographers that inspire you. I'm going to leave a couple of links to some photographers under this video so just look around and, and check for what photography style that you like and try to start editing that way maybe over time then you'd start to develop your own style of photography i was inspired a lot by brandon wolfo 
um he, he just tells a story with his photos and that was very very inspiring and that's about it for today's video guys i do hope you enjoyed or learned something um in this video my main goal for this channel is just to help people who are struggling just like i did especially when i was starting my photography and videography business until next time my friends stay legendary peace